Today, I'm going to show you how to launch a simulation, a gazebo simulation of your robot in five minutes, provided that you have this simulation in a Git repository. Okay, so for that, what do you have to do? First, you have to go to this address, the ROS Development Studio, at this at rds.theconstructsim.com and then get an account, sign up or sign in, so you decide. Then after you launch it, you sign in, you will reach this page, maybe with that contains several simulations that we already provide, or you will be on your private zone. In any case, you have to be on your private zone for this example, okay? So switch to your private zone, and then the first thing that we are going to do is to create an empty simulation for the ROS Development Studio. So let's create a new simulation in RDS, Click on that icon, then select that is a Gazebo 7 simulation name. We are going to do for this example the Motoman robot simulation provided by Nishida Lab. So let's put here Motoman Nishida Lab. And a description here that describes your simulation. So this is a simulation of the Motoman robot provided by Nishida Lab. Great. So then we create this simulation. It has been created and then it appears here on my list of available simulations. Great. Now this is a, just an empty so simulation so we have to uh, um, fill with the actual files of the simulation. For that first thing is to launch this empty simulation. Press this icon here and then press run. Okay, so the system boots up and what is going to happen is that the system is going to show us an empty simulation here on the right hand side. And this empty simulation has been created by this empty package. It's just a shell package that we provide for starting, but it contains just an empty wall and its launch file. So we don't want this. So then here it is, the empty simulation. Great, we have it. And, but we don't want that, so we can just delete this, um, this package because it's useless for us. And let's delete it. Yes. Now, here, let's create our simulation here. From that, so I have to go to the Cat King Workspace. That is here, Cat King Workspace, and then Source. So here it's empty. It only contains the CMake list. And here is when, where we are going to clone the simulation from the Git repository. This Git repository is provided here by Nishida Lab. Don't worry about the data. I will put all these data in the notes of the video, below the video. So in any case, I'm going to clone here, copy the address and come here and do a Git clone. So now uh, it is getting all the files that define this Motoman uh, simulation. Then it contains uh, quite a few packages because this simulation is very well created and very good simulation as you will see in a few moments. In the meantime, let me explain you that here on the left hand side we have a notebook where we can put and create notes related to that simulation but this is some extra that you will do if you have time and you want. So I'm going to close this, so hide it, so yeah, so it doesn't bother us. Yeah, great, so we have the simulation, here we have all the packages here about the, that simulation, and they know that there is a launch file here, that is the one that I'm going to call the main one. So you can define as many launch files as you want, but I'm going to uh, use this one as the main one, so I'm going to rename it as main file because it's more convenient for launching then it's uh, this one so what I'm going to do is to copy this and then come here to the launch and set it um, paste has to be here yes whoop here 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 yeah here it is and then uh, I'm going to rename to main main there are many others uh, launch files there. You can experiment with them as you want. But this is the one example for this video. 
Great, so we have it, then that's done. We only have to relaunch this simulation for that. We press the button, and then we say, yes, pr uh, please launch the main launch. If I'm not happy with this, I would like to launch another launch file that is included there. So you can check them here around and select the one that suits you better for your simulation because I know that is this main, so I select this main and press run. So now in a few seconds we'll have here the simulation of the motorman. Actually we can do one thing is that to change the configuration here and put the bigger the simulation so we can see the motorman robot with a better perspective. And here it is, it is loading here we have the robot and the simulation running great. Great and then now okay still loading the the table and also there is a Kinect that is the sensor that will detect all the obstacles. Great, so that's it. We have the simulation. Okay, you want more? Yeah, so let's move it the robot, yes, a little bit and less. So for that let's use um Let's use uh, move it to, to move this robot. And I think there was some, some launch file here that allowed us to, to move it. Uh, here maybe it's a move it here, launch, yes, it's gazebo, Nishida Lab, move it, planning. Yeah, let's launch that one. And for that, because the simulation is already running, I can use my shell here to launch this extra launch file or any others launch file. So let's do it as you already know in ROS. How do we launch a package? ROS launch, of course. And what's the package? Move, Motoman, move it. Okay, Motoman, move it. And which launch file? This one. Sia Gazebo Nishida Lab. Okay, Sia Gazebo Nishida Lab, what it? So let's launch it. And what is, this launch is doing is loading all the controllers. Yes, there is an error, but it doesn't matter because it's, it's working, the simulation. And you will see that this is loading all the Mubit packages and uh, will allow us to plan while avoiding obstacles. So it takes some, some seconds to load. It's, it's heavy computation and the computer that you are using here for free is very low but here it is so everyone is happy you can start planning okay great uh, for that this system is launching already the Arbis this launch file that we have launched is launching the Arbis so we can use the Arbis to move this robot let's open the Arbis window and the Arbis window should be here in the ROS graphic tools so if you press here, a new tab will appear. So here it is. And yeah, sometimes it happens this when it's heavy computation, but you just press login again and then it will reload. And here we have Arbis configured for moving this Motoman simulation with Mubit. Okay, my screen is very small, so don't worry because we can arrange that. Let me close that. And here we have the RBS configuration of the Motoman. Great. So here we have. And let's move it. So for that I'm going to plan. I'm going to generate a random position. And let's see if it's generated. You can see on, on the RBS that uh, it is being updated all the environment around the robot by using the Kinect sensor. This is a very excellent simulation created by the Yoshida Lab. Sorry, I, I don't know if what's updated. Let me just redo it. So it will generate a random... Mm. Okay, maybe it wasn't connected. Let me connect here. Okay, connecting, yes, and then we come here and we update one trajectory, one random trajectory. Let's see, it must appear here, 
is a trajectory that is showing. And now let's plan and execute. Okay. Yeah, sorry. You are not seeing the robot, but that the robot is moving based on that planned trajectory. Here it is. So let's go back to the plan and trajectory. Yeah, that was I was trying to see. For whatever the reason it was not showing, I don't know. We have to check. Uh, so let's uh, generate another trajectory because that one has been already done. So let's update another one. Let's see. It's still trying to accomplish that one. And uh, yeah, let's plan and execute here. And you'll see how the robot moves to another trajectory, random position, taking into account the obstacles. Great. Yeah. So it was about five minutes, isn't it? Great. You can keep on trying about this simulation or you can use this example for your own um, examples of, of your own Git simulations. And of course, you can debug all these errors that appear there and get a perfect simulation using the ROS Development Studio. I hope that this was helpful for you and see you in other videos in the future. Cheers.